Bring it on. Good morning. Good morning. It is a beautiful morning. Good morning. To you. Wapapa do papa wapa boo. Good morning. Good morning. It's Thursday morning. Good morning. And welcome to Breakfast Live. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Your chat not working. Can I see my chat, chat is working? How well, come my chat not working? Good morning, guys. It's a beautiful morning. Good morning, good morning. Janice Jones, good morning to you. T Mish, good morning. And to everybody, good morning. Beautiful Jamaica, good morning. Jamaica's in the house. Hey. Kingston in the house. Yeah. Brooklyn, I mean Georgia is in. Good morning, Ali, uh, um, Kerry, Olivia. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. She's not showing her face because she eating before she do the live video. Let me just. I'm just writing you out right now. Telling the folks what's going on in this house. <laughs> good morning, guys. And before we get into the meat of the matter, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. It's breakfast live. And it's live breakfast. <laughs> it's about all of those things in one. Breakfast live. Who all in the house? Who else is in the house? Let us know. Shout out. Let me give you a shout Andrea. out. Andrea. Andrea. Good morning. Quebas. Yeah. Quebas. Where are you, where are you um, logging on from, Quebas. Andrea? Let us know. Let us know. Let us know. All right. Let's show the ingredients. Let's go. on from the bronx new york the boogie down bronx new york guys where where it seems like we're getting a little bit of um you know overcasting and whatever in the in the atmosphere so it's affecting our 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 um video a little bit carol springs tanya johnson good morning to you oh man see yes guys guys bear with us this morning we are having a little bit of challenge a little little bit of challenge which will correct itself momentarily in jesus name because we are binding up any kind of you know hindrance to the breakfast life program this morning you know hindrance to the breakfast life program this morning right yes yes we have to get the show on the road guys we have to no weapons formed against breakfast life shall prosper so bear with us do not go anywhere we are sticking and staying guys but anyway while we still have the the um signal let me go ahead and give you the ingredients for what we're about prepare oh lord help me help prepare Oh Lord, help me, help me please. Okay. All right guys, um, can I just say this? We apologize for the signal issues that we're having, but we are gonna be doing our best to correct it. And so gonna be doing our best to correct it. And so let's get going, see? all right so sorry for the signal issues and signal issues andrea says she loves caribbean porridges all right <laughs> yep 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 all right so what we have here we have cornmeal and show me what else you have baby we have cornmeal which is the base of the the cornmeal porridge we have coconut milk which is very necessary for the flavor and these are just the spices the vanilla the nut flavor and these are just the spices, the vanilla, the nutmeg, the cinnamon, 
and of course you're gonna sweeten it with your sweetener of choice right so yeah Tanya says I'm not leaving you guys it's all good thank you so much Tanya we are trying our best and today we're appearing yeah, we, we don't have to. We don't have to go with any corn this morning. Okay. She wanted to put corn in the porridge. But yeah, yeah, I'm not feeling the corn this morning. No corn in my porridge. Not feeling the corn today. Alright, so starting off with the porridge. But you're not showing them the rest of stuff over there because they're seeing it in and it looks very pretty on camera. Alright, so let's start with the porridge. Let's do the porridge first. Morning, DZ Dudes. So this is powdered. Powdered coconut milk so you have to definitely you know dilute it mix it out and stuff so it turns into a liquid coconut milk or if you have the canned coconut milk you can use one can of coconut milk right or if you want to grate the coconut and blend it and squeeze it more power to you but if you go ahead and throw it in its powdered state in the pot you are in trouble because it's gonna be lumpy right lumpy so make sure lumpy porridge we don't want a lumpy porridge lumpy porridge we don't want a lumpy porridge <laughs> right so this is now in um, milk form so we're good to go now over here we have the so pot. this is one coconut one cup of one, coconut milk not quite but yeah one packet all right and then may I bring the, may I bring the, this too what's going on in this pot right here okay over here we have the the pot already boiling with the water this is two cups of water and a stick of cinnamon and i'm getting ready to put the cornmeal in but again you cannot put the cornmeal are you me. yes you cannot put the cornmeal um in its dry state in the pot because it's going to be lumpy so i'm adding stock okay so she had to add some water to the the, the cornmeal yeah yeah you have to add water and um, mix out your cornmeal with water before you put it in the pot otherwise it's going to be very lumpy hey linda good morning to you linda where you're logging on from so as you <laughs> Barbara said the green mug is hers. She bring it from Jamaica and can't find it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the thing in here. So immediately, Fredericksburg, Virginia, in the house. Virginia is in the house. Hey, Linda is in the. Okay, so so Linda, welcome to our program. Um, our internet services is, is not giving us a, a full hundred. Um, you know everything today so where our video is a little bit spotty a little bit sticky sticky but we're doing our best all right and today we're making cornmeal porridge jamaican cornmeal porridge i keep saying jamaica because yeah and we're making oh. cornmeal <laughs> it burning it hold on quickly oh my I'm god i'm turning it down Woo! i'm turning it down and this is one thing you have to be aware of guys if you're not careful your porridge will splash all right yeah, you have to be aware liquid, that's why so if you're calling me yeah see? guys she splash up the house but that's i tell her no because me and our friend if you parry if you're if you're making cornmeal porridge you have to one control your heat and two you have to control your liquid um it need more liquid so more i think you should get some more water yeah because as the cornmeal thickens it becomes unruly. yeah unruly yeah and so you can you can mix the the cornmeal with regular um, room temperature water you just need to put water in the cornmeal that's it get, get the pot get the pot see, get the cover see so that you don't you can control it i can take this splashing and guys listen you have to control your heat or else this thing will splash on you no my wife have a serious issue with thick food she love thick food and so it need more water you know why it has to it can't get too watery initially because then i'm gonna add almond milk to sweeten it so i'm see, gonna probably add the almond but it's milk. gonna it's gonna get thick see well, see it's 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 thickening all right let me add a half cup of almond milk right and this is one of the days and see porridge i was passion on my head a while ago give it water sniper good morning to you good morning terry Take notes because anyhow you make this hey, wrong for the little baby. Hey, you don't make the porridge for the baby yet. Listen, 
<laughs> baby parrot. If you don't make the parrot for the baby, it goes splashing up in your eye. Make sure you have on goggles when you're wearing this. <laughs> or eye protection this. <laughs> when you're making this parrot. Because it will splash. But guys, as you see there, it is doing an awesome job. So you see right how there. smooth it is, guys? There's no lumps and there's a you have to follow the technique where you mix out your stuff before you add it to the water and you have to start mixing the porridge immediately and you have to keep mixing that's the other side to the, this thing you have to keep mixing yeah. if you you need some arrowroot this porridge meal. one day and water sniper say make oatmeal porridge mm -hmm. and raquel says she hungry guys i'm hearing you i'm hearing you you see how far the camera have to be from the porridge because this porridge is very unruly and you turn your fire all the way <laughs> i told you you have cover to be careful. Part. You have to be. Please. Let me keep spinning. You know, it can cover no one Guys, I'm just gonna keep spinning. Yeah, you have to keep at it. And guys, if you're not keeping at it, it's gonna mess you up. This porridge is unruly and own way. We're gonna add more milk later. But in right, the meantime, so keep your, your flame low. You know? Your flame low and it's me again. Yeah? All right, the next thing now we're going to look at is over here. Why somebody, why people always calling me in the middle of my show? Sure. All right, guys, so here we have two cups of flour, right? Two cups of flour, and um, this is the base of your fritters. I don't know if you guys are familiar with fritters, but I have here like three pieces of salt fish that we already pre-boiled. And salt fish is salted cod, guys. Mm -hmm. So you pick it up, literally pick it up. And you you want to you want to get the salt out, so you're gonna boil it for at least uh, twenty to thirty minutes just to get the salt um, out and to make it um, you know be able to be manage manageable. Mm -hmm. And some people will say it's not cod, it's snake, it's the boneless cod. But I don't really business what it is. Cod, snake, bone, what I don't business. We're just using it today for our selfish fritters, all right? And my channel is about, you know, um, using what you have to make it work. And so, yeah, we, di we didn't get the expensive one from Canada. We got the cheap one from China, all right? Yes, yes, guys, yes. I know some folks are going to get at me for this, but we have to just work with it. The, the, the selfish said it's not the right one and all these things. What is wrong with it? Anyway, so now we're adding our fresh seasoning. Thick Yoshi said porridge is very bad. Please make eggs. Sorry for you, Thick Yoshi. I don't know where you get that from. What? You just have to just deal with that on your own. I'm so sorry. That's an abomination. Yes, that you cannot tell a Jamaican you that think a porridge egg bad. Is You're better crazy. Than porridge? Oh egg can better than porridge. You need to repent. No, dear. I think, yes, we have to lay, lay. Please, guys, just lay hands mm -hmm. on Thick Yoshi and pray for him. Yes. All right. Tell right. me what you just put in the in this. We have like a, a half of a small purple onion, and we have like two stalks of scallion. I like a lot of scallion, and this is a pitted tomato that has been cut finely. Yeah, we took out the, the seeds took out and the, the inside part, part yeah. and the seeds and stuff. And this is pretty much. That's pretty much all we need in terms of fresh seasonings. And then we're going to add, of course, a lot of scotch bonnet pepper. So now we're going to put a little bit of baking powder. <laughs> See me say, if a snake, we might as well need it because we need enough already. I'm putting um, baking powder. Half of a teaspoon of baking powder. And of course, you have to have black pepper. Black pepper. And I'm just eyeballing that. Not too much. See me says, eggs, yuck. <laughs> I'm echoing TV. Garlic powder, I like in mine. I don't know. If yeah, some people don't that. put garlic powder in theirs, right. but we can put garlic powder in ours. One teaspoon of garlic powder, and your Laurie's seasoned salt. Laris. So you don't put salt; you just use the seasoned salt. So you get that seasoned taste in your fritters from the get go. And I'm using one teaspoon of that also. And of course, we have to put a little sprinkle of our old bay. Old bay, old bay and fish. I think it finished. Old bay and fish is like um, hot dog and ketchup. Yoshi, uh, Yoshi, thick Yoshi say only chicken don't eat eggs. 
<laughs> That's not true. Vegans don't eat eggs. <laughs> and I'm putting a little bit of paprika because I find that it gives the fritters a nice color. You know? No larries. That's a splash. Andrea said no larries. Why? I me mean, no. Andrea don't like the larries. Well, and guys, if you don't use larries, you can just use regular salt. If you don't use you know? larry, you can use bobs. <laughs> and a little bit of cayenne pepper because you have to have that peppery kick. You all know that. What I don't about the love... scotch bonnet? Of course, you have to put the scotch bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> clock, clock, clock. I'm a chicken. <laughs> My God. And then, with that said, having put all your ingredients, you're going to go ahead and just pour water. All that water can go, I promise yeah, you. Yeah, I know, I know. But and remember, guys, I don't make my fritters as watery as most people, though. You understand me? So. Water sniper says pink Himalayan sea salt can be used. And the reason why we use the Larry's is because it is a combination of salt and a little right. bit of seasoning. So right. that's why we use it. It's not just for the salt content alone why we use it. It's because it does have um additional seasonings to it and it does add a little bit of variety to our dish yeah so and this fritters is going to be very nice guys because as you can see the ratio of flour to filling tim tim good morning to you good morning guys please go ahead and give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing and um, the wife will show you the tutorial let me show you the tutorial real quick what you do is you see where you have this little live chat you just x the live chat out for a minute and then you go right to where it says thumbs up or thumbs down and you put thumbs up and then you go back to live chat right here where it says live chat and you click on the live chat and you're back Woohoo! see that that's awesome awesome so guys go ahead and give us a thumbs up robin welch good morning to you um, Andrea says she just don't like Larry's and that's fine Andrea no nothing is mm -hmm. wrong with your own personal preferences right. and that's one of the things that I like about my channel and what I've been doing so far is to always give people the option of doing it their way you know I did it we what a sniper I don't remember what have we made rice porridge see Heck no. no the wife don't like rice porridge so we have not yet made it um for the most part we keep our our scotch bonnet peppers in a bag in the freezer and that's just a little bit of advice um because you do you do um have you know the pepper will 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 spoil so you don't want it spoiled so you keep it in a in a in a container in the fridge all right yeah if you want me to cut it up i'm holding the camera though i'm officially the camera person so i don't know how that's gonna happen no, I don't want to put it in the case because I'm afraid that the case, at uh, the case, I jinx it. Okay. I think the case is the bandolo. All right, yeah. So this look nice. It's a little bit thick still, baby. I don't know if you, that's all you want it, guys. You you will have to check your the consistency of your your fritters. Um, you know the you thick. See, why am I mine thick? Is because I don't like flat fritters. I like it fluffy. So she makes hers thicker because she likes when the fritters um, puff up in the in the in the pot. She don't want it flat. So more power to her. I like the the thinner one a little bit. Really? I don't. Well, I, you know what? I really don't care. As long as I you make it, it's all right. Put up your pepper fine, guys, and add them to the to the pot because you really don't want somebody to bite them from the whole of them pepper at one time. linda thank you so much thank you so much yeah man you just keep them in the fridge they will lose a little bit of the intensity of the heat um depending on how you use them uh if you're using them in soups for instance and you put a whole pepper in the soup it will flavor your, your soup just as normal but you will you will lose a little bit of the intensity as it relates to the heat just a little bit because of the freezing process but that's good it, it, all right yeah you're not you're not missing nothing the good thing about fritters is that you can try frying one and then see if you like how it is and then adjust it by adding whatever you want to add i think they're hearing you the good thing of the fritters is that you can you could try yeah them still hot you could try to fry you could fry one for instance and then once you once you don't like if you don't like how it looks or if it 
don't need more yeah whatever consistency yeah tea mesh when you put excessive baking powder in the fritter what happens is that it absorbs a lot more oil so you want to be very careful and monitor and the amount no substance to it it's just airy uh, well people love it airy really? yeah man people love it airy is that them call it stamp and go yeah, all right let me show you the porridge the process of the porridge quick movements yeah porridge are come on now the porridge get a little bit normal back again it's not unruly you know it's not plop um yeah this is good and just put as much milk to your liking if some people don't use liquid milk they use right. so, you know. We use almond milk. Um, we don't use cow's milk, but you can use cow's milk. Um, tea mix says she like fair, fair porridge, uh, fair fritters flat. More power to the flat fritters, to the flat crew. fritters crew. See the porridge look very nice now, and it smell even nicer. Now we're at the seasoning stage. You could have used a little Spice. bit more liquid at the oh, spice stage. Could I use a little bit more liquid? I don't know. I can't tell you guys how much um, spice to put in your porridge. Cinnamon is based on you again. Should just put some Ceylon cinnamon in it. I might have mentioned there's Ceylon cinnamon. Not to be confused with normal. You cinnamon. can use regular habanero in your in um, pepper or chili pepper in your fritters if you don't have. Caps of this, oh, sorry, Daniel. I'm answering questions. So if you don't have scotch bonnet at your disposal, you can use um, chili pepper and by if you're going to stretch it way out, you can use jalapenos, way out. But habaneros are good, any hot pepper is good, you can use um, the substitute. And at the last, the last, um, very last least you can use is um, buckled pepper, you know. But yeah, you can find, find um, habaneros or chili peppers. See, you don't want to mess up your, your, your nice meal. I know. Uh, my feet say if it's stuck, I'll make me do it. <laughs> Alright, so guys, we're putting in nutmeg in this and we're putting in two caps full of vanilla. And you have to put some salt. And you put a, a little salt, bit of because it does regular salt just to... Sea salt. Yeah, sea salt to balance the, the flavors out a little bit. Yeah. And the, and then if you use sugar, you, you you want to add your sugar too, if you're using sugar. And stirring is important, guys, because as I said, cornmeal have a tendency to want to do a little bubble upping. And yeah, you can do with the splash. That splash zone in the cornmeal porridge is terrible. I'm putting one. Oh, sorry. spoonful of sugar that's what mm -hmm. no, no. it's about three tablespoons of sugar about three tablespoons of sugar to start because of course you have to taste it to make sure that so it is okay if it needs more go ahead and add more i've heard about the fungi but i've never cooked it and that's one of the things that i want to do as my channel expands is to dive into other cultural um um ways of cooking and so it's something that i hope to do as i said we're we're, we're hoping to to get more traction better traction get better equipment do all these things so i can even travel and have people other people cook their favorite um food for us and stuff so even fufu is something that I want to do. I want to do like pounded yams. I want to do some of the Haitian um, cuisine as well. It's all about the growth as we get a little bit better and a little bit um, more, you know, uh, advanced in what we're doing, right, see? Mm -hmm. So yes, I, I hope to start doing other cultural um, preferences pretty soon. It's gonna pop, it's gonna bubble. You have to spin it. That is Please don't make porridge burn you. Whatever you do, you have to be very careful when you're making porridge because if porridge burn you. Yeah, if hot cornmeal burn you, it's See, a little more salt. To me, it, it, when you put the salt and it give it that nice undertone. You want a little more liquid. Hi, come, wait. Me like my porridge liquid. I know. So you're going to add your porridge, your milk to your porridge when you're eating it. You want a little butter. Sure. Yeah, use this. Use the coconut, coconut, the vegan thing. Yes. Yeah. You don't want to, or you want to use coconut oil? Use yes. coconut oil. This is the 
only one yeah guys don't worry about it again i put a little bit of um oil in my porridge or butter or coconut oil in my porridge um make it a little bit more silky and this morning we're using coconut oil using some simply natural organic Unrefined, coconut oil. cold press virgin all of the friends all of the different things we're using and this is just about a tablespoon mm -hmm. yeah trust me guys it changes the whole complexity of the porridge yeah sorry about the camera work so if you remember if you remember to do that add a little bit of coconut oil or a little bit of butter just a little bit not no but do nothing you know let's take your time and Is that um there yeah it's supposed to be there so it's supposed to be there in a little box like a um an extra something you know all right so this is this is the porridge guys no see no 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 don't I tasted it. it needs a little more spice and she measures by taste so guys you have to taste and buy while you're doing it. <laughs> greetings from the netherlands netherlands in the house um um what name what the capital of the netherlands greenland no no netherlands in the house yeah netherlands in the house Come big on. up yourself big up yourself from the netherlands we're making cornmeal porridge and i know when the Netherlands gets cold, a pot of cornmeal porridge can soothe the savage beast. Hallelujah. <laughs> so we're just making some cornmeal porridge, made in style. And we're going to couple, couple that with uh, saltfish or salted cod fritters. In the Netherlands, they use a lot of cod fish as well. I believe so. If, I were, if, if my history, my, my world knowledge um, is up to par. They use cod, but they may not use it like how we use it. All right? Yeah. And guys, our porridge is basically ready. You can't, we, we're not gonna fine tune it to everyone's preference on, on camera because we're gonna move into the next area of our cooking. Why don't just put the, the, the thing over here? Oh. See, I have to tell her these things, you know, because I'm a very good organizer of things guys yes apologize guys I've been camera on um in in my hand i took the tripod off because we've been having signal issues so bear with me i wanted to show you my shirt you can get this on yardy belly tv and it says yardy belly tv turn your hand and make fashion it's such a nice shirt it's so nice see can i see your shirt please guys look at this one this one says turn your hand and make fashion it's such a nice shirt and the back it says yardy lifestyle yes beautiful shirt and they are at a very minimal cost you can go on the shop now button just below the the, the the video and you can click on that and select your shirt and they will ship it to you i want to thank those persons who have already purchased their shirts i really appreciate you guys and every single purchase goes towards you know it's doing something that's worthwhile on our channel um you know because we're, we're just regular people we're not we're not a big production we're not a, a commercial entity we're just regular folks who trying to do something we like cooking i'm not a chef we like cooking and we like talking those two things make for a good combination want to thank those folks who watch our video a lot and for those who comment positive thoughts uh, from time to time, we do get persons making queries, and we we appreciate those who make queries, and we try to answer them as as honestly as we can. Uh, we're not we're not really like the bad comments, though. Some people it comes with the territory. It comes with the territory. Yeah, yeah. Because some people lick with hot, especially me. I get it. I get it. I get some hot lick from people, but that is good. Yeah, we love the Lord. Hallelujah. Hot kalaloo Maybe you need to buy one of these. Yeah, I know. It's so guys, right we're there. we're just we're yeah, yeah, no more obey. You have to you have to rinse out the yeah, <laughs> it's like you want to squeeze out the water bottle. No more obey. So we put some oil in our frying pan here, guys, and we're using this small pan um for this demonstration. Normally we would use the bigger pan, but the wife says when you have a little bit of oil, 
you use a small pan so that you get a more deep frying effect if you should put the same amount of oil in a wider pan you will get a sauteing effect or a, or a pan frying effect so you have to you have to be ingenious all right and once you have your butter here to the consistency that you you want it this is how i like it then you're gonna drop in your fritters you guys see how we're rich in um in ingredients ingredients and filling yeah. that is. every bite you bite you're gonna get something you know you're getting a whole mm -hmm. of flour somewhere yeah. you know and she normally adds one little one to the oil once the oil is is hot enough mm -hmm. the oil is good at medium right there yeah it was on high and then i tried what it you can it. do is just no don't no no when you want to know if the oil just drop one little drop and once you see that how oh, that operates see it's not hot yet well it's almost hot see there yeah it's up a bit hot so talk more this morning we want to talk about life and life is something that is so unpredictable guys i promise you i'm gonna share something a little bit personal but it's just life you know this past week a week ago a week ago i lost my stepfather my mom's husband and he died suddenly we he was he, they have a farm in jamaica and he was coming from farm coming from work went to, to spend um half a day working and he was coming home and he just fell just collapsed and died and he wasn't ill wasn't sick you know and he just died and it shows us that even though people are living like you know everybody is gonna live forever we all sometimes act as though we are gonna live forever we have to be careful because when time when there's a time that you know everybody has that time their clock and their clock says enough is enough that's it the good thing about it is that i can i can tell you as a as a as a as a, a stepson you know um i can say he was a conscious person who spent a lot of his energy in service to god Aro pays good morning to you. And when you spend your time serving God, at least you have a thought that if something should happen to me or, or anybody, you know, then there is a place based on the promises of God. There's a place that is reserved for us. You know what I mean? And sometimes that's what we the hope that we have. The wife is just putting a piece of garlic in the oil and that is to flavor the oil if you want you could also you could also put um scotch bun of scotch bunny pepper in the oil yeah, you know the oil is is super hot now this is what how i do it to make it perfect like no that. but you're gonna do these are testers right yeah we have a test too oh i was gonna one go for testing one yeah, and these nice. are just testers all right make sure you, you monitor your oil don't make sure it'll be super hot or else the outside will be charred and the inside will be um you can take out that the inside will be raw all right so monitor your oil the oil that i'm using is um sunflower oil mixed with olive oil i don't use canola oil because the ingredients that makes canola oil is reported to be poisonous you have to research on your oils guys because you have to be careful you know and as i was saying picking up the conversation just to put a close to that is life is not guaranteed and uh, w just as we came to this earth without anything and any guarantees that's the same way we're gonna leave we're gonna just it's gonna happen and biblically if i know there are folks who on here who are not christians or are not very religious but there is something that the bible does say that is profound and and it may be prophetic the bible says it's appointed on the man to die once and so everybody has a destination with death <laughs> you know everyone everybody has a destination with death and so we have to live our lives in such a way as to not only leave a good legacy and leave a good name behind you but also live with a hope that there is something after all of this 
And so this morning, that's my advice to my folks. Be careful how you live because how you live will echo into eternity. You understand? It will echo into eternity. And that's, that's the word for today. Just be careful how you live. The Bible also says, be careful how you live, not as fools, but as wise, making use of every opportunity you have because the days that you're living in is evil days. Evil. Yeah, evil days. So that's my word this morning. This are, these are the two fritters that we have been so blessed to test. Yeah. And you see how them puffy? This is the nice consistency that the wifey likes. Now everyone lives, but everyone will die. It's true. Live well. It's true. That's a very good, very good word. Very good word. You know, and you don't have to be, as I said, really um a sunflower, and Andrea, sunflower and olive oil. And let me tell you, when you go into the store and they have oil blends, you have to read the fine print because the sunflower olive oil blend is actually 80% sunflower oil and 20% olive oil. And so if you think that you're buying that oil and it is super healthy, really it's better than the others, but it's not super healthy like a, like a full olive oil blend would be. All right, you wanna break that open? And you can also use peanut oil. See, see guys, see the insides of this? See that? Nice. Oh, it is. It is good. I'm putting the camera on you. Mm -mm. Don't put the camera on you. It needs more flour. It needs more flour. Here's it. It needs more flour. Here's it. I'm not tasting it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Ya. It's scary. That's how I, I like it, Eerie. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but I can't taste and narrate. The grapeseed oil from Aldi. That's good. That's good. Awesome. Awesome. What do you think about these fritters, babes? I think the taste is on point and perfect. What about the consistency? Most people would love the consistency. However, me on the other hand, I like it more doughy. Oh, but Lord. it's nice yeah. and airy. That's what I like. I like it airy. Mm -hmm. See, I like the ear. <laughs> mm. Do you need anything? Pepper? Yeah, one more pepper. Fire? Mm -hmm. mm? Yeah. What else? You want Oreo your panko. <laughs> so you say you like that lightly? Yeah, man, it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay. I know what you're talking about, though. So, guys, you, you, you. To make a good fritter, you want to keep testing. You can add it, see? There's no problem. You want to keep testing and making sure that the consistency is to your liking. Mm -hmm. Let me just say, there are some folks who do things based on tradition, based on what they have been taught. And then there's us. And then there are, uh, there's us who, who test the waters as we go along. And Jamaican food is of such that you don't have to... You don't have to... There's no real, nothing is written in stone. You don't have to be hard and fast about um, what you cook and how, how it is done. As the Jamaican motto says, out of many, one people, it's the same way in the kitchen. Different homes do it different ways. And so, guys, we want you to be aware of this. There are those who are very critical of how um, other people cook. And... I don't think it, there's room for criticism, really, because people are different. And it's say, for instance, stew peas. Seven different households cook stew peas seven different ways. And it don't mean that they're wrong. It, this is something that we need to get over. Because you like it a, prefer, you like it a certain way it does not mean that you must superimpose your belief on somebody else. It don't mean that you must say, no, you know, so you cook where you come from. You can't cook aki. Where you put um put um tomato in a aki. That's not right. You, you see what I'm saying, guys? We have to be disciplined enough to allow people to decide how they want it and cook it how they want it and make it work how they want it to work. Yeah? And that's our little motto. Turn your hand, make fashion. Use what you have. Make it work so that you are happy. 
if you're not happy because you do it like some years and it not turn out how you like it and how your taste buds want to to receive it then are your fault you see me like right now me just love how the fritters them look them look very fritaceous 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 these fritters look very fritaceous right now yeah and the wife is doing an excellent job at making these fritters work super cali fragilistic Espiali, delicious. Mm -hmm. And guys, we turn the stove down a little bit so that to monitor it, so that the whole I cook. You may want to adjust your stove. Each stove burns differently, mm -hmm. so you adjust your stove to suit your taste. Um, we're gonna clear up and then prepare to to, to start going. We only have um we have 50 minutes left for this video. Really? Yes, yes, I'm yes. We are ready. We are ready. I'm me ready. I'm hungry too. Mm -hmm. Guys, you know you have to sometime bring in the hungry part to make sure hurry up. This is part of Roman Fitness. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Tanya. Mm -hmm. um, you want the white ball, right? Or the blue one. Blue. Or I want these. No? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, go on so far. These pictures are good. Mm-mm. Huh. Yeah. I'll come in. I just want to make sure you turn them. <coughs> Check how golden brown them is. And turn them. Yeah. Jamaicans call um, these saltfish fritters and or stamp and go. I don't know where the stamp and go conversation came from though. I don't know the history <laughs> behind it. But yeah. <laughs> Guys, you want to make sure that them come to that golden brown perfection that you like before you pull them out. The outside is supposed to be David Jones. Good morning to you. England's in the house. Yeah, England's in the house. And London is in the house. And hey, baby, baby, come on, baby, baby, come on. Yeah, so these are these are very nice. And these are snack foods. These are appetizers. People use them as appetizers. People use them as snack foods. You know, any time of day, middle of the night, when people are sleeping at the one o'clock, my wife get up and make fritters. Yeah, all the time, all the time. You understand? This is one I will go to breakfast, and you can make even. Let me tell you something. See, you have lettuce, right? Mm -hmm. Woohoo! No, 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 we never buy. We didn't buy. Are you kidding me? My earth right now my earth my feel so bad guys you see if you take one of these fritters this is just an insider trading me again right now insider trading if you take one of these fritters and wrap it in a lettuce cheese and peace it tastes so good you can make lettuce wrap with the fritters and it tastes so good oh my lord I can't explain how good the lettuce wrap tastes when you put it in the fritters. Mm. <laughs> All right, these are ready to come out now, babes. Of course, white getting brown. Make sure them drain properly. As you said, all the low holes. Mm -hmm. They collect oil. So guys, when you're taking them out, make sure them drain. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to use this as our little presentation plate. Yeah. So that we can properly um, end this video before we put in the next batch. Look them on. Look how the fritters them look good. Jeez, um, peace. I know somebody's on the, on the thing lusting right now. Stop the lusting. 
do not lost. Mm -mm. Yeah, I have it. Look at this. Look at this. It is such a beautiful thing. Look at this. No, sir. Come, baby, come share the, the, the porridge. Bring, oh. Bring the blue, the blue, little blue sauce, sauce thing right there. Arapes, Arapes is, is drooling at the mouth. Mm -mm. This one, babes, look what I'm showing you. The salsa. Oh, you're using the blue pill? So we're ready for a porridge, you know, guys. Oh, you like my look at salsa. Look at salsa, nice. Somebody gifted us this um, salsa. It's nice, eh? Let me just show you. We not, oh, it's a bowl? Sorry, this is a bowl. We don't get much things to show off with, you know, because we're very simple. We live a simple life. So when we do get something, we can show it off and say, so it's so very bowlish. Look at that. It's such a very nice bowl. You know, super califragilistic bowl. We are going to put it on the turnstile. And you're going to put the bowl in the center on the turnstile. And then you're gonna put your fritters around the bowl like such. No, I'm just gonna bring the pot over here and, and spoon it in. Yeah. How this look guys? You look right. I'm doing it right. Hmm? Come with it. Yeah, we have space for one more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, Josh. So, guys, because in the pan summer break, in in no, yep, yeah, in the pan summer break, so I'm get to sleep in late this morning. I don't want to. I don't want to take it off. Spoon in the porridge. You have toppings, babes. Mm -hmm. You don't have any toppings. One boy, your crackers. crackers. You know, put crackers. Yeah, crackers. Over hot hot water. You need to go. Oh, that look, guys. One more spoon, one more spoon. Woohoo! Oh. How that look? Let us clean up one little drippings on my drip porridge or the place. Hot, hot, cold water. What? I don't know what that means. Hot, hot, hot cold water. Don't know what that means. So guys, this this one is super hot. This is our finished dish, guys. Breakfast is served. We have a dollop of raisins in the center. The cereal. And you have your fritters on the side, and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. You want put cereal in their porridge. Nobody puts cereal in their porridge. Guys, Joshua know. asking if any of you guys put cereal in your porridge. Or is he the only weirdo? How is that weird? Yes. Give me the phone. Let me take my um, Instagram. It's right here. And so, guys, that's our representation this morning. Good. We do hope that you will join us again for more videos. Why well, always do that, babe? Hmm?
Spin it. Hmm? I was going to take a photo with the Instagram. And guys, remember to follow Yardy Belly TV on Instagram. And Josh the Food Lover on Instagram. And One True Natural on Instagram. Show the video. Show the show mommy's phone. Show mommy's phone, Josh. Wait. See, all the parts look clean and nice. Yeah. So, guys, thank you once again for joining us. Our time is gone, and we appreciate each and every one of you for spending the time with us. You can make this in your neck of the woods. I promise you. It's as simple as that. And we will try as much as possible to put the discreet the the um. The, the the ingredients list in the description box so please check the ingredients and <laughs> carry the presentation is a must we're outside please open the door linda thank you so much yes we appreciate you and we appreciate your support this has been uh it's one of the trying weeks most trying times of my life um just to be away from home and to know that there's circumstances that are adverse there but god has given us greater strength and and you know he's given us grace and we're holding on and holding through um hopefully i can go as soon as i can and just to be there and the comfort sometimes it's not it's not so much as doing something as much as us being there you know but god is a good god Thank you for joining us, all right? My tagline is live and laugh, cook and eat. And I always say this as well. Turn your hand and make fashion. Make it happen. You can make it happen in your neck of the woods. Mm -hmm. It's been a great morning and I'm hungry. I'm going to eat um, fritters and something. So thank you for watching. Sorry about our, our internet situation and the, the issues we have been having with our feed but we are doing the best we can with what we have all right uh tanya yes god is good all the time all the time to all my folks from wherever you are and wherever you are joining us from we appreciate you so much remember to check out our playlists we have self several different playlists on we have our breakfast live playlist taste buds playlist we have our vlog series that we out and about vlogs um we have several different things me and the boy is going to take this week by storm because the wife is going to be out. <laughs> uh, she's, uh, she is representing us um, for both sides of the family this week. So we just want to thank God for her as well. Remember to shop now. Get in, get in the shop now button and get yourself a t-shirt if you have not yet done so. Big thing is happening in South Florida because um, Yardy Belly TV has been called into the Taste of the Caribbean um food festival that's happening in miramar and this the, the organizers called me and said they're putting me in a food competition guys so they're expecting yada belly tv to cook something live um and compete with other celebrity chefs and i don't know i'm just gonna step out there and be myself and do what i have to do so if you're in south florida remember to check out um taste of the caribbean I'm going to be posting more about it as, as it develops. It's going to be later on this month, um, the 23rd of June, to be exact. And, hey, I'm looking forward to the challenge, man. Hopefully, I win it. Hopefully, it's enough money. I wonder if I'm money. If I'm money, I want to win it. You, Tanya, you need my booking info. Tanya, do me a favor. Email me at revsainthope at gmail.com. That's R-E-B-S-T h-o-p-e at gmail.com my information is in the description box just below this video you can you can find my email just email me so that i and remind me that it's you and we will send you send you the information asap okay thank you very very much and guys once again thank you guys for having me and we see how it goes yeah big up on yourself and peace and love and so, <laughs> have a good morning, guys. Love y'all.